What is going on, guys? Let me turn this down a little bit. Holy smokes, that game is loud. Quite sure what the extra noise is I'm getting in the mic, though. That's weird. Alright, so. I'm going to show you guys a couple things here. So, I'm going to give it another minute here in case anybody wants to come in live. But I think I'm also going to house this on... Um, YouTube as well, just because uh, uh, Twitch will drop it after a little, like a week, so I want people to still be able to find it on YouTube if they are interested in doing this. Um, this is a tutorial on creating a custom team in Doug Flutie's Maximum Football 2020 on PC. I do not know if this works on PS4 or Xbox. Um, it would have to do probably with the picture formats used um, and the directory in which they're replacing everything. And I'll show you what I mean when we get into this. So give it another 20 seconds or so and then we'll get started. So let's go ahead and get started. So if this is an, in order to create a team, a custom team, using your own logo, not something that you had to make in the game. This is another reason I don't know if it works on consoles. But this is the PC version. And so in order to show you what I mean, we'll go into teams and players. I've already been working on a few of them. Holy music, Batman. You, there got to be a settings thing in there to turn that stuff down, right? All right, so this is my logo. Um, this was created in Paint.net, not in this game. Uh, and I'll show you how we do that. And just to show you that it's doable on more than one level, that's another one. Uh, that's another one. Uh, eventually, all of these will be done. That's another one. I should outline that one. So we might do that just to show you guys. Well, I don't want it highlighted. I don't want it outlined on the helmet, though. Actually, if we use the yellow color, it should be fine because I think the helmet is the yellow color. So you wouldn't be able to see it on the helmet. All right, so we'll show you that here in just a second by using that logo. Um, that's not mine yet. There's another one. I don't know. I've not done those yet. There's another one. And I need to clean that one up. I need to get rid of that little purple. But I digress. Um, I think that's all we've done so far. Alright, so to show you how to do that, um, this is capturing a game. It's capturing the game right now. Let me add a scene, a source here real quick. I wasn't thinking about that. Apologies. Do a display capture. Um, I'll just call it desktop so we can get to it quickly. that display all right so if I hide the game come over to the desktop and I go to Steam and I go to library then I can click on right click sorry on uh, Maximum Football 2020, I can go to Properties or Manage, 
and I want to browse local files. So here I can do local files browse, or I can do it through the manage as well. Uh, and so this is where my maximum football data is stored. So if I go into this folder and I go to streaming assets, I don't know why it's under streaming assets, you'll see here you got custom logos. This is where it stores the ones that you create as a DAP file. So you don't want to do it here. Game logos, that's stuff for bowl games and whatnot. Um, stuff it uses in the game to do certain things. Technically, you could change those by replacing that file with the 5 by 512 by 512 PNG file. Um, if you wanted to do a different logo for a certain bowl or whatever the case. If you wanted to change the logo on the helmets, I think you could do it with that one. Uh, I've not experimented with that yet, um, but we probably will at some point. Just haven't done it yet. So we'll come back to that in a future stream. This is the folder that you want, the logos. So if we come into here, this lists all the logos you see before the ones that you create. So you could technically change one of these if it's being used by a team, and it would change it for that team on their helmets and in the game. Um, if you scroll down to the end before the letters, because they start at 500, and you look at 392 back, up to 360. These are all of the ones that I have put in. Uh, I haven't assigned them all to a team yet, obviously. That's why we only saw a few. But if I go back to the game, and let me enable it in here, and I go back to any team I can pick, so we'll just do one we haven't done yet and I come all the way down to the logo and I let it load everything then I can page over to six and I will see all of the logos that I have added and I can assign any of those to whatever team I'm creating and or replacing So that's pretty much how you do it. Um, I was experimenting down here with a created one because uh, one of the convicts teams that I had, the Alcatraz convicts in Madden had striped helmets. Um, a warning to the wise, you cannot do a fully covered helmet. So this did not work. I was trying to make stripes on the helmet that go all the way around it, um, but it will not let you make it big enough to do that. Um, you also cannot do, say, wings in the traditional sense, like Philadelphia has, um, due to that limitation as well. You can't get it all the way over to the edge. It doesn't let you, on PC, relocate where the logo's at. You can only resize it, and it starts out the largest uh, that it can be, and you can only go down in size. So. If you go back to these created teams that I've done and you go over to uniform and then we go say to Alcatraz you can see that I just did the logo on the side of the helmet because what I wanted to do was put stripes on the helmet and it wouldn't sideways like a prison uniform per se um, it would it wouldn't let me do that which I have actually done in Madden to an extent it doesn't look great but it does do it um, just because of the way they wrap the helmet. I haven't tried it in the newer Madden yet. That was Madden 08 that I had done them in before. Um, but if you go to some of the others, you'll see the same. You just uh, assign them whatever logo it is you imported into that folder. Uh, I don't know what the limit is. Like after you hit 499, I don't know if you can jump over the 500. I've not tried it. Um, but technically, you could do it in the college league for all 130 teams if you had enough logos for that. Uh, assuming it lets you add all of them.
I'm assuming it's not going to have a limit as long as you have them numbered sequentially. Well, even if you jump around, obviously, because it jumped to 500 on, on the ones they did, including the letters. And theoretically, you could delete them out of there, but you wouldn't want to go down to zero, I wouldn't think, because then you'd have nothing to add to the team's uh, helmets. Um, who else did I have done here? Dover with the dragons. Actually, while I'm in here, I need to fix their helmet. There should not be there should not be any stripes on this helmet. Isn't that easy? Um, haven't done Vegas yet. London's there. So, um, what was I going to fix? Was it the dragons? Might have been the dragons. Dover. Um, team data. Yeah, let's see if we can get that that little purple hue out of there. Um, that's that comes from Madden 08 because you have to. You have to use that 255, 0, 255 around it and for the clear crap for the game. For some, I don't know who thought that system up. I have no idea. Um, obviously, probably no one's ever going to use that color on a team. But still, if you ever wanted to, you couldn't because it would just be nothing. So, uh, let's go ahead and go back over to the desktop here. Um, we're going to bring up the paint.net program. You can use whatever you want as long as you save it. Uh, I just I don't even know if it has to be 512 by 512. That's just what the other ones were, so that's what I went with. Um, so you can experiment with that if you so choose. Um, no, I don't. No, that's not what I want. Oh, it's trying to save. My bad. All right, so we need the dragons loaded. There it is. So what I want to do with that is I want to magic wand the outside blank part. I want it to be pretty high up so that it goes into it a little bit. And then I want to do my color that I need. And then I want to fill it. All right, so there it's filled. So now I want to magic wand it again with that high number. I want to come down off of that because I don't want it to take out any of my actual image, right? Okay, so now with that selected, we should be able to delete. Oh, wait a minute, it took out a little bit of orange down there at the bottom left. Alright, what are we doing here? There we go. Alright, let's try that again. That looks to be better, so let's save that, save as down here and overwrite my previous one and then we can close that and go back to the game and let's go ahead and exit this customization and go back into it so it reloads so I don't know if it refreshes that while it's sitting there like that so we'll see if it looks any better here. Well, I mean, it looks not as purple, but why did it give me a white? Why did it give me a white outline? I don't want that either. But anyway, you can see it changed it. So that's how you 
add your custom logos to the game without having to create it in the game on PC. Um, feel free to comment on the video and ask any questions you want. I will answer what I can uh, once I see them. Um, and then if we go to uniform, uh, you can kind of see a circle around it, which is not what I want. I want it to be, I want it to blend into the helmet. So we'll have to, we'll have to play with that. But you can see it updated everywhere to the new image once we backed out and went, in, went back in. So that's uh, how you do it. Um, like I said, if you have any questions, post them. And uh, either here, I don't know if it'll let you do it here afterwards, but on YouTube where I'll move it to as well. And I'll answer what I can if I know the answer. I uh, appreciate you guys checking this out, and we'll talk at you later. Peace.